Welcome, my name is Travis. I'm with Electrified Garage, Ocala, Florida. Uh, today we're installing a performance airlift on this performance model three in the background. There's so many reasons why people want this kit. The on-demand adjustability and of course the ride comfort and the accessibility for different driving situations. The customer has been on these coilovers for quite a while. The wife doesn't care for it. See, the ride's gonna be a little firm. And of course, you're gonna have to be careful of where you're actually driving. This kit will leave all those situations and actually make for a awesome ride. First, we're gonna remove these strut covers. These are to protect the top of the struts from the environment. Basically keep dirt, muck, whatever off of the tops. It exposes the top of the A-arms. So basically it's a tub for storage that we just removed to gain access to these particularly special bolts right here that hold the top of the strut. It's basically the strut bracket. We're just trying to get as much slack as we can on this anti-lock braking sensor so that when we lower this spindle down, you don't get this too taut and actually do damage. And this is one. This is the strut assembly, complete. Uh, this was, yeah, KW adjustables. Uh, pretty nice setup. Uh, like we said, the customer was just uh, getting tired of the rough ride and not being able to uh, conquer all trains. So now we can. Basically, we're going to swap the hat from this one to the other one. This is the only parts that we're going to be reusing it will be this A-arm and obviously the strut top. And um, basically, it's going to get to it. I'm just going to simply leave it where it laid and get our new one. To your sway bar bracket. And you're going to put it exactly as it had it on the other one. Sometimes you might have to spin the top just a little bit because they don't come perfect, but this seems to be a nice kit. This was a nice, easy, easy install. Look at that, lined right up. So, kudos for the kit. Normally what I'll do is I'll turn the steering wheel in my favor, kind of get clearance. So you just be a man and grab the steering. And now you can see even the hole got bigger. Got a lot more access now. Oh, it's better. Yep, everybody's in the right spot. So we're gonna go up a little bit, set this guy under here. We're gonna be removing the fasteners that hold the top of the strut. We're gonna be removing the 21 and the 19 that control the lower strut. So we have a 10 millimeter holding this plastic cover on the bottom. Once we remove this double set, of 19s and 21s, we can actually just remove the whole assembly in one big giant motion.
All right, so we're all done, finally. We've got all the lines properly plumbed, routed, clipped up. Um, all the suspension's been adjusted, the air ride's been calibrated. Uh, this basically is a completed project. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and get it for yourself.